What's Yo, up, what is guys? going on? <laughs> what up? What's bracken? Uh, you know, altcoins. <laughs> <laughs> What's crack a lacking, man? I'm over here suffering in this suit right now. This shit is hot like the market. Woo! Skin what tight. Ass tighter shredded than shredded at the same time. Dude, ass tighter than Versace in this thing. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. No, that's that's nice, man. Uh, yeah, do, doing good. I mean, it's always good when uh, the cryptos you're in are doing well, you know, gain an interest on it, and just, yeah, overall, the, the weather's getting nicer and stuff like that, so, yeah, doing pretty good. Fuck yeah, man, so, let's My see. bags look swollen, so I'm happy. <laughs> Hell yeah. We, we got Hex, we got Hex almost at two cents, we got Celsius yeah. almost at seven dollars. Seven dollars. Ugh, my pants. ETH, ETH pretty much at all-time highs. I mean, ooh, six seventy nine. Can one, two, three, seventy nine? Ooh, it just hit six eighty when I talked about it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got it pulled up right now. I'm telling you, man. Let's see, Ryan Sullivan. I stopped DCAing into food and, and rent for crypto assets. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, funny. that's probably that's probably a good move. Uh, I mean, if you haven't packed your bags by now, you're. Uh, this is pretty much it. This Thanks, Crypty Girl. Yeah. As she's in the chat. Yeah, sometimes you don't realize like how much money you're spending um, on on things that you probably didn't need until you start like writing it down and kind of jotting it down and measuring it. Uh, and so, like Motley mentions, even if you can put like some of that in or cut down a little bit and put that into crypto, if you uh, if you choose to, it can really add up a lot. Hell yeah, we have a uh, look into late crypto here, just taking forever. <laughs> Like the comment, if Cell had sixty dollars, I'd tell my wife's boyfriend to move out. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Damn. it takes Cell hitting sixty dollars for you to make that move. <laughs> you, can do it. You, can, you can do it before sixty, I believe. In you. At one hundred and twenty, you might tell him to stop talking to her too. <laughs> <laughs> no more dick pics. No, but seriously though, one hundred twenty dollars for Celsius is super possible. Like, yeah. It is stupidly like possible. It's it's pretty insane. You guys don't understand like how it's how. I mean, you that... call you called a hundred for the end of this year, and that yeah. you said that was conservative. So yeah, it, it it really is because look, even like let's just say I let's just say we were only just to go up to like sixty dollars or like just to do a ten x from here. That's only a sixteen billion dollar market cap. That's it. It's nothing. It, same thing for hex, right? Hex right now it is. Always on top. Oh, even my synthetics bag is pumping. Oh my god, I love this market right now. It is eleven point three billion dollars. Shoo! So all all Celsius has to do is just even get to Hex's market cap, and he'll be doing pretty good. What else? What else? What else? Sell be at at uh, Hex's market cap? Uh, yeah, I could do it real quick. Let me see. Eleven point six divided. Damn, by this said wasabi is always late. Nah. DC is DC is usually the late one. Shh, shh. It'll be uh. <laughs> Don't let be... them know. Okay, so if it's if if Celsius was the same market cap as Hex right now, its price would be forty nine dollars and thirty cents. Okay. So almost enough time for almost enough price where you could tell the your wife's boyfriend to go away. Almost, but like almost. you know, almost. You should, just, you should probably be getting ready at that point. I know, right? Probably, I mean, I yeah. I'd prep, bro. I'd prep. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Pack his pack his bags. Get it. Get oh it my god! <laughs> Good to see you, Dan. Let me see what's inevitable. Wait, is this the same one from like the chat back in the day and like Strape? Hmm? Dan Edmonds. Dan's been around for a while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is him. Oh shit! What's up, Dan? I know you're back. What's what's cracking? Yeah. Well, when the market starts exploding, everyone starts coming out of the woodworks. I don't believe that's fake news, Internet Lurker. <laughs> so okay, I based I based the market cap off of the nomics for he for hex, and then I took the mar the coin market cap for Celsius because most most of the plebeians, the of the pleptard class, will look at coin market cap for the market cap. So that's it, it that's so I have to use that market cap where the ch super alpha chads are on nomics. You know, you know, getting like fed ambrosia from the teat. You know. Yeah, Clay Collins knows what's up. If you want. Nomics is a new way to go. This, yeah. this cycle for sure. If you if you want accurate 
market cap and charts nomics yeah internet lurk you're getting 2.8 billion probably from um looking at either nomics or looking at um coin gecko coin market coin market cap is keeping celsius's price down because they haven't decided to pay um cz money for a for a listing on binance that's why the oh, the math is off yeah extortion yes sir who would, have, who would have ever thought cz would do that shit yeah well this guy you know richard <laughs> yeah. richard kind of talks about like crypto being designed to get rid of counterparty and middlemen and it's uh it, it's not so surprising anymore once you kind of learn ab about the space um the kind of actors and whatnot there's that but uh yeah i mean it's it's really interesting to find out that truthful information that like oh this market cap website's not displaying uh data properly or they're manually gatekeeping you know you mentioned cell and hex and stuff like this and uh i mean yeah that's the opposite of what crypto is designed to do so clay uh from nomics is legit yeah no, i just saw that <laughs> I hope you win, <laughs> bro. Okay, 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 okay. By that comment, oh, I don't know though. <laughs> damn, dude, that is okay. So, okay, so Jesus Christ. Okay, so let me let me let me let me do some moon math for you since I got the moon suit on right now. Okay, so let me just try to figure out this math real quick. Okay, let's take forty-five divided by one point five six times what's what's the current price of sell? Six eighty. Yeah, yeah. Eighty. Six eighty. Oh! Some change. My God. Okay, so if Celsius hits forty-five billion dollar market cap on Coin Market Cap, it will be current. It'll be its current price would be about one hundred and ninety-one dollars and twenty-five cents. So I think you probably win that fight. I mean, I don't know what. How, how much of an alpha is this guy? I mean, he could pretty much just buy a mech suit at that point and just crush the dude. You know? He's like, oh, uh, my wife's boyfriend uh, got into hex in, at, uh, on day twenty. Oh fuck! Oh wait, okay. Uh, you see, Tamid, um, you might want to reconsider this fight. <laughs> no, I mean when you mention uh, like the growth of the space, right? Dollar cost, uh, not just for certain cryptos, but I think. Even the space as a whole going past two trillion is, is a big deal, and so it, it's cool to see. You know, definitely some will do better than others, and some you know won't won't be around after a while. But that's why you gotta really like do your own research, what people say, and make sure you know what you're getting into. Yeah, definitely. My dude, mask. <laughs> OG oh, right here. This is an OG watcher right here. Yeah, what's I've going seen on, mask? For a long time. Is that anamorphs or what is that? That, nah, I don't that's not Animorphs. Animorphs. It's like some Beast Power Rangers shit. Is that Beast Wars? You know, like the Beast Wars and stuff with mm -hmm. the Transformers? No? No, I don't think so. Maybe. I'm sure you can elaborate. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Crypto Vince. He'll be doing our uh, our timestamps. Another salute to you, sir. Yeah, I didn't realize how valuable those were until he actually did them for us last time. I was just like, oh, that's really nice and convenient. Okay. Mass Pro Effect, man, I, you may have to reconsider this. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> not, not if you want your sell bag to have the value of $100. Because that's going <laughs> to... It's probably going to happen. Exactly. I'd be like, I took a look. Like, he'd be like, no, no, no. Do you see how I'll play this chick? He's like, I'll take a 50% LTV loan on my bag and give her that and still keep my two <laughs> all my sell token. <laughs> Just sign that prenup. <sighs> Seriously. Uh, yeah. Plot yeah, twist. Beast Wars was the shit. I mean, but like when Beast Wars came out, I really wasn't old enough to afford the uh, the the toys and stuff. But I had like one of my neighbors down the street who had his entire room, like sort of like Bran has his room, but except all Beast Wars. It was like Beast Wars it out, dude. It was sick as shit ever. I was so jealous. It's like that guy. <laughs> it's like the kid in the neighborhood that has like all the cool shit that you just befriend, so you could just like play with his shit. <laughs> Yeah. It's just like, oh, you got a pool, you got a batting cage, you got all this shit like at your house. It's like, yeah, I'll, I'll go be friends with that guy. Yeah, it's a uh, so. Oh, I ordered a ton of hex like hex stuff to actually put on my suits and stuff the and patches. all kinds of nice. the patch. Yeah, I ordered patches. I got hex patches coming in. I've got like cell patch. I've got all kinds of dude. You you wait, don't know what wait, what the level helmet of... did the helmet come in yet though? It's not in yet. It's almost here. Mm -hmm. I got a late ship. In it. Yeah. Where do you get it, um, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, you can either order them. There's a couple of them on Amazon, and then there's like a okay. couple other vendors if you yeah. look for them. So it just depends yeah. how realistic you want. If you actually want a real, real one, they run up to like 850 bucks, give or take. Yeah. 
or like the really like you know legit ones and then you can go really legit where like you can get like i, I even found websites where i can get power rangers like full real power ranger suits with the real nice. actual power ranger helmets and stuff i'm like cool. this close i'm <laughs> this close full pink power ranger Man, imagine how hot those would be, you know, compared to the the moon suit that you got on right now. But dude, I tell you what, yeah, that'd be badass. Yeah, all paid for by t-shirts. No, I'm just sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how dare year. you sell it? <laughs> so it was you, for Power Ranger suits. <laughs> I mean, that's the beautiful thing, right, about a market is it, it goes up and down. I mean, you got people uh, paying off certain things, and everyone's got their own time horizon for when they want to collect profit. But if you got a longer time horizon than than others. Or most, then you know, chances are you're gonna do a little bit better. Yeah, I'm not ready I, to uh, take profit yet. <laughs> okay, okay Bobby, yeah, I, I got seriously. a question for both you guys because you go, yeah, both you guys watch Muddy Morphin Power Rangers, right? Right. Okay, which one, green or white? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, did it? Did one become the other at one point? Or my? Okay, okay, that's enough. My shit up? Okay, okay, so you take twenty points off. Cool for you. For not, no, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Green, green ended up turning into white later on. Yeah, so yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say white. White looks white. white looks that's racist. Cool. Green wins. <laughs> <laughs> Automatically racist. Supremacists over here. Green wins. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm. I'm starting to turn into like like uh, what's what's it called MLD MLD like modern like dating. He got himself a fully operational fucking like Iron Man suit for Christmas last year. <laughs> Like the, then, the full statue it, ones or like the one that you actually wear? You can wear. The thing works. Oh visors, lights, and everything. And then he gave it away. <laughs> Jeez. I wonder how much that costs. Like 10 grand. Maybe like Bro. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Something expensive. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, he'll find out tomorrow because I know he's trying to do his Operation Green Rolex. He finds out oh, tomorrow it, if uh, if it actually gets discontinued. Dude, it that Rolex went up as much as crypto did. Yeah, it yeah. it did a 10x. The the green the green the green dial Rolex and the and the platinum the platinum Daytona they they've both just gone through the roof because they think because they think they're getting discon discontinued because they 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 weren't priced in like the new catalog so we find mm -hmm. out tomorrow man if if they're discontinued I think they're sitting somewhere between like 75 and 80 grand right now they oh. get discontinued they're going six figures all so the day. one time i don't ape into a rolex it 10x's yep <laughs> yep it's yeah. pretty cool richard's mentioned they've got like uh like market cap charts that you can kind of do for different rolexes and that it appreciates right uh, at least some of them do so that's that's how, cool how funny would it have been to have been on a stream with like with like richard again because I, I did like a stream with him a long time ago to show him my rolex and stuff and he's like yeah dude my rolex 10x too <laughs> As he, as he pulls out his paddock, as paddock, his perp, his perpetual fucking whatever, hundred fifty thousand paddock. Oh, like, you talking about the ones with, where yeah, yeah, you, they go like with, this and they tune themselves, right? With his little Louis Vuitton backpack to carry yeah. it in when he wants to take it off. Yeah, he put the other one in there. Yeah, that shit was so hard. I, how do you do it? He went like, yeah, Bro, that shit was not hard. That that backpack then looked awful. <laughs> I don't know. He I pulled think, it off, man. If he had two of yeah, them and he like yeah. he had like a little key, he could have like Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Like, shh, shh. <laughs> 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 then he's like full Versace. I mean, uh, Louis Vuitton on. His fucking throne just turns into a fucking transformer unit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Seriously. Man, I'm over here. So what's going on? What's going on in Hexland and stuff? I'm I'm coming back. I'm I'm moseying on my way, way back to Hex now. Pulse chain. New chain, mm. fork of Ethereum. So they did go fees. with that name? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, a little inside joke for all the hexagons and 14 pulses. But uh, I don't know, man. We're going to have a cheaper fork of Ethereum with some Easter eggs coming out in a couple weeks. So who knows? Maybe uh, Richard Hart's cha uh, new chain will be the new place for uh, NFTs. If we get that Ethereum fork with uh, with cheaper fees. Yeah. Turn into NFT land. Their money spends the just as well as anyone else's. Yeah, he said at the end of the month that there would be uh, more information coming out. I DM'd you like it's uh, at a twitter.com slash uh, a pulse chain com and yeah, the new website pulsechain.com and then also richardhart.com too. But yeah, it's going to be cool. I mean, a lot of people, not just hexagons, but anyone else using NFTs or smart contracts, or central land, all this stuff, uh, the gas fees can go, can go up, right? So when it gets congested, people realize like, man, this is getting expensive. Yeah. 
them ca- yep yep yeah we're for, we're we're forking ethereum so it's gonna be called pulse chain um it's probably about four to five months eta maybe sooner it seems like richard's been working on it but it's gonna be a fork of ethereum cheaper fees and then there's gonna be a couple easter eggs that go with it and um obviously mm-hmm. if you have hex i know some people do some people don't because i know miguel uh mentions it in his course but you'll not only have the hex contract on ethereum you'll right. also have the liquid and stake hex copied over to the new pulse chain as well so you'll essentially have two hex just like ethereum ethereum classic bitcoin bitcoin cash mm-hmm. so it's going to be interesting to see what the market determines the value of both of those once we fork right so, i had a but i, I mean a... two two hex is more than one two two uh two things of hex stakes better than one so, so like i'm happy for it and then i think if i had to guess because richard likes his airdrops and uh pump mentals or pulse mentals now with uh this new chain i think we're gonna have an airdrop of uh the native token on pulse chain probably two hex holders have had to bet money on it so so okay okay so just just so i can get my scooby-doo clues together yeah so I have hex, and because I, so so because I have hex, I'm gonna get a copy who is of this hex. In, who is this in Scooby Doo? I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you went like full like country well, go back mountain accent for Scooby-Doo. well actually there, there's an, well actually if I remember correctly so there's this there's this uh the haunted island like there, there's this straight to DVD just so I don't go nerdy to it, straight to DVD uh, Scooby-Doo movie, which is like the Haunted Island or whatever. I remember I, like, I had my parents bought it for me a long time ago, so for some random reason I have that episode stuck in my head forever. Uh, Were they all where, rednecks? Well, kind of, actually. They're, it's in Louisiana and stuff, some Louisiana home or something. And anyway, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, there, there's right, a lot of right, rednecks go, in there. <laughs> go, go back to your uh, clue collecting. All right, so, 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 all right. So, okay. I have hex. I have mm-hmm. shares. And these shares will get a copy on Pulse Chain, correct? Correct. One for one. One for one. One for one. one, for liquid, one. liquid and staked. What, liquid and staked? Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. 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 Hold He's doing it. He's doing it. He's okay, doing it. I'm collecting sorry. clues. Okay. I'm collecting clues. I'm collecting clues. Okay. <laughs> so, 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 so. We go back to this. So, okay. So, I have stake hex. I have my t-shirt. My t-shirt is one for one. Correct. One for one. You one for double, one. Okay. You got, you got double T shares now. But but let's just say let's just say I got some liquid hex. That two. One for one. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. So. Do I also get? Oh, do I also get pulse chain coins as well, or no? I believe that chain might have a native token if I had to bet money on it. Woo! Hot god damn it, dog. We call that a trifecta. Trifecta. We well, over here in the south, we call that an Eiffel Tower, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has a good time. <laughs> Everyone has a good time. <laughs> we call that a Louisiana sandwich. <laughs> Extra mayo. <laughs> uh, butter that bread. Butter that bread. Shoo. Oh Shoot. man. I am now poshed. I would love some free Ethereum airdrop. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's gonna be a lot, a lot of money heading, uh, heading our way. So, <laughs> good times, good times. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. So it pretty much, yeah, we're just putting a one for one copy for everything, and then from there, um, yeah, with with some good price action right up to that event, I imagine. I, as well. I, so. I wonder if we're gonna have the same amount of. Uh, I wonder if Pulse Chain, I mean, like, I obviously, I know I know we're going to have to wait a little bit until Richard kind of says everything, but I wonder how much, if, what's the supply of Pulse Chain is going to be itself? And then two, depends obviously, what, I mean. Depends what it's used for. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be some sort of fee token, gas token kind of uh, model. But, mm-hmm. um, and I think he already said it's, he's already mentioned it's going to have token burning, just like uh, EIP, uh, whatever, for Ethereum. And what else did he mention about uh, Pulse Token? There's one other thing. Do you remember, Bren? Burning tokens. Uh, faster fee burning. Deflationary problem. Well, I mean, not, fa- not faster. Just I think the only thing he's come out with so far is just cheaper and then token burning. That's the only thing he's released on it so far. Right. So, yeah, faster, cheaper, cheaper fee burning. Faster. Yeah, sorry. Fee burning. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty good. 
Yeah, I mean, we, we might even get a stable coin, a, a, a pulse that's, chain. That I, I th a couple of community members have been talking about. That's what I would like. An actually decentralized, like stable coin would be mm. amazing. I would be, I'd be about that. Okay, so I need to buy. Would you I be able to, to have a? Would you be able to have a stable coin with um, with a token burning like that? Uh, yes, just the token burning could not. So basically, the 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 assets are inside of the pool that's collateralizing the stablecoin cannot be burned. It, but if the other stuff, if if the other, so I'm thinking the fee burning is from transactions. So when you do it, when you pay yeah. a gas, the gas fee, it's it's almost like EIP fifteen fifty nine, where it has a gas yeah. that it's probably the same thing. I'm guessing, except probably a little bit more dramatic. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, in the fee, but, pretty much. But you, you've got to stay away from. So Ampleforth really, like, it, it, I know we talked about Ampleforth a long time ago, yep. but basically Ampleforth did kind of revolutionize a couple things of of, of an unpeg. I want to look at that price. Keep going. I want to go see what that uh, <laughs> has. That thing just completely died. No, it hasn't. I mean, it just it's just some people have bags of it and stuff, you know. Yeah, of course. I mean, we're in the. Uh, I mean, shit. So what did I, I, let, I got uh, left? Oh yeah, yeah. So as long as yeah, as long as like we can collateralize it with either hex or pulse choking, more than likely it'll be pulse a pulse choking. You just pulse say pulse token. choking. To token. You said pulse choking. Keep going. Pulse. I'm Wait, sorry. who's Paul and why is he choking? I don't know. Why are you choking on pulses? <laughs> so okay, so if it's if it's got to be pulse token and then a, well, here's the problem too is then you also have the other token. So it might be you can it'll probably be multiple pools. You'll probably end up having pulse hex and then hex uh. Pulse hex. Are you just talking about hex on the pulse chain, so, or are you talking about something different? No, no. So I'm talking about okay. In order to collateralize the 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 hex USD or whatever mm -hmm. H, H or whatever the stable coin is, gonna whatever be. the stable coin is at the time, right? It will have to be. It will have to be essentially like two pools or three pools technically. So it'll be. There can be just a hex one, hex back, so sort of like a die token, where yeah. you can just where you can just have its main chain. Then you could have a multi collateralized stable coin, which will be something like you could have hex, pulse hex, and then you could have pulse eth, whatever that is. That's yeah, too much. <laughs> it's a, it's a lot. We've gotten a lot, a lot, a lot of tokens and stuff. But I mean, we we've we've talked about this. Like the space is gonna need a new stable stable token at some point. Like this is probably the last cycle that we can comfortably use USDC, maybe another one, maybe yeah. into the next one. But after that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to touch it. It's I mean, obviously better. It's obviously better than tether. And yeah. then I know we had die for a while there, but I mean, FY, FY at everybody, it's owned by JP Morgan. If you guys yeah. didn't know that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Dude. Another reason why I'm wearing this, this stable suit <laughs> oh, is that what this is called? The stable suit? <laughs> the stable suit? No, I don't do that. This is the moon suit, man. <laughs> but nothing the uh, escaping this. But nothing escaping. Dude, this is literally like a sauna thing. Damn, dude. Is that, where you fill up your, is that where you fill up your bags? You just start filling it up in the suit? Yeah. Though I, I'm, I'm being for real, though, dude. I've been working out these past days. God damn, dude. I'm already sore. down like f I'm down five pounds right now. Dude, I couldn't even get out of this chair if I wanted. Are you sore as fuck, though? Yes. Yeah. Destroyed. It's, ba it's bad starting back. I told you I was doing I'm um, doing that like step challenge and I'm like super competitive so like I'm having to put in like 10 miles a day just to stay ahead of everyone because one of the girls in the group like runs marathons so like I'm slow and hate fucking running but I'm stubborn as fuck so like I'm trying to I'm trying to do like 10 miles a day so I don't lose. Yeah, there you go. Just keep eating your tortilla. <laughs> I mean, watch this. Watch this, right? I'm going to eat a meme. Let's see. Get his face in there. Yeah, Motley, it's, it's cool that there's that technology nowadays, right, where you can count each step and, like, some of them have, like, this pretty pretty intense uh, technology and tracking where, like, uh, your sleep cycles and patterns and stuff like that, and you can really, you know, uh, optimize your health with information like that, you know? Yeah, I don't need to track my sleep cycle to know it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, right? Yeah, me too. Me yeah, too. I'll, I'll, I'll work on it at some point. Dude, Molly, like, man, this is so running your own business is really, really difficult, but you can set your own hours, which is kind of cool. So I, I allow myself to sleep like a lion and <laughs> just wake <laughs> up when I want to wake up. It's kind of nice. I probably I hate, do it the same. I hate waking up early. I hate that shit. That shit's no, no, thank you. No, thank you. You can keep that. So, anyway, dude, how you been, Bran? Good. Yeah, man, doing doing pretty good, you know. Uh, 
not not much is new. I mean, shit, uh, just doing normal hex stream and sometimes joining uh, Discord Syndicate and uh, upgrading vehicles soon, which will be nice. Just something a little bit, just something a little bit more uh, economical, I guess. Going to get a Toyota Camry, so uh, that'll be cool. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I mean, things are going pretty good, and uh, I mean, sometimes when you're, I'd rather be more busy than have like more free time on my hands. Mm. Sometimes, you know, you can find yourself being more productive uh, that way. So yeah, I've been, been pretty good trying to get back into, uh, you know, more consistent lifting too, uh, like you're mentioning with the, the working out. Uh, so, so that'll be cool yeah. too. I, I ended up, I ended up getting my, I ended up getting a trainer in terms of just to get my macros and all my, uh, my workouts put in and stuff. And, uh, God damn. I told you. No, no, no. I'm back. I'm back. I, I'm used to, like, my. He, what, he, when I, keeps you honest, though, right? Like, you can't, yeah. Can't cheat yourself and skip out on a day now. Yeah. No, like, I got so tired. I mean, I my workout was so long, honestly, because it's it's a bunch of volume training. Because I'm doing something called nucleus overload. Nucleus so overload. Over. So Never heard like, of it. Yeah. Are you gonna like detonate at any moment or? I mean, it's at some time. I'm, I'm gonna go thermal nuclear at some point, right? I but mean, just come out, just yoked out of your mind afterwards. It, it basically it's basically um all right so you you guys have heard the thing if you want if you want big arms you just work out your arms every day no because you need time for them to repair and then also the genetics are going to play a big part of that as well sort of sort yes but sort no yes but no okay. trust yeah, trust okay so so there's this whole thing so basically there, i mean okay so there's this whole type of working out, right? It, it originated. For, I, have you ever heard of German volume training? No. No. Okay. Well, it's just it's a bunch of it's it's basically just steroid workouts and stuff that people used to do back in the day. So, uh, what ended up happening is everyone got on roids. So people used uh -huh. to train. So back in the day, people used to train full body exercises, full body splits. So uh -huh. you'd hit, you know, you'd hit legs, chest, and then some back, right, and then. Th that sort of stuff. Then steroids came into the mix, and then people d found out like, oh, bro splits. We can just hit a body part until exhaustion. The steroids will heal us up, and then meanwhile, we hit another yeah. body part. Yeah, I mean, that's mostly what steroids do. Is they just allow you to recover quickly, so you can just right. you can just hit it again harder and faster. So th there's a way to actually hit your whole body part six days a week, hit them all, but then at different at different sort of uh, tempos and stuff. So you so you can sort of go like uh, a heavy a heavy rep day. Then more more stretching, like higher more higher reps, and then you get a pump day, and then you, it's it's kind of alternating like that and stuff. And then you have a you have a high high rep high weight, then low rep high weight, and that and that's essentially the whole thing. So it isn't like because if, if you ever not, if you're not tearing the muscle, then yes, it's you don't have to recover as much like you would normally if you're yeah. focusing on just that body part or two body parts. Yeah. So yeah, that makes sense. So, so yeah, so so there's there's a. Um, so, so there is a a really famous post. I would say bodybuilding.com and stuff from back in the day. That's called Squat Every Day. It sort of borrows some of that right there, where it's so people. So in squatting every day, people think like, oh, I'll just back squat every single day. No, you'll kill yourself, destroyed. Like you'll destroy yourself. So, that, so what? What basically what they started doing is they would do a heavy squat day, and then they would do front squats, then a super light back squat day, and then they essentially keep hack squat day. So it's like they would still be hitting their legs or squatting every day, but they'll be hitting different exercises that that would kind of rest the system a bit, or like or maybe switch to like a Smith Smith machine, so you so you can rest up on some of these stabilization muscles. Yeah, and you can yeah you hit different parts of your quads and glutes. That, yeah, that's that's the whole thing. So it's so it's I don't know. Like I think it's I mean it's working for me and stuff. I mean I've I've worked out for a long time, but but the whole thing about nucleus overload training is is basically you train like you have a you train really hard for about four weeks, and then you have a complete week off, completely yeah. just to let your body re recover. And that's the main thing because you're basically because I'm not on steroids. If I wasn't on steroids, I'd be able to keep going. Is that the is that the next uh, evolution? We just I mean, start pumping you. We just start pumping you full of roids and HGH and just get at some, some point. New moon suits. So, so yeah. <laughs> so I'm. I'm. So I'll, I'll. 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 I'll work out and then I'll win the physique, like the physique, Mister Physique or whatever, or like the or like the Mister Olympia for physique, and then I'll get on. I'll Mr. get on light. Space. Yeah, Mister Space, Mister Moon, <laughs> and then, and then from there I'll go. I'll get on some. I'll get. I'll get on some roids and stuff, right? And I'll get on some. Um, 
some testosterone, win classic bodybuilding, then from there get on GH and fucking insulin, and then win Mr. Olympia, and then retire off, and then make kindergarten cop. <laughs> and just play with crypto all day. Yeah. Easy day. No. I dude, I love deadlifts too, you guys, but man, dude, if you're if you're not careful, like if honestly form, if your form's not right, it's gonna do infinitely even, more damage than good. Even if your form is not even if your form is good, you, you will you'll wear out your fucking back. You'll wear yeah. yourself out and, and stuff you if you're doing heavy. Press your disc too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You do not want to fuck with your back, that is for sure. But you it's, it's totally very good. important with your posture and everything to have good lower back muscle like that yeah for your stabilizers and your posture and your core and everything so it is good but you definitely want to make sure you do them correctly With, yeah you mentioned like form and, and not going too heavy i mean one of the biggest rookie mistakes or, or mistakes that sometimes you see people doing is like lifting i mean i get there's like pushing yourself and then there's like pushing weight that's just makes it to where now your form is bad or your muscles are too sore and that's where you can definitely get injured so like you know lower weight's not always too bad if you're practicing your form like motley said yeah. roids will shrink your moon bags everyone be careful <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, okay fathead said off topic fo fast show for show oh. for show. show but wondering what's your thoughts have changed in any way with soul since quarter two and how are you feeling about xrp uh, Solana, I'm fucking bullish as fuck on Solana. If you guys haven't checked out, there's something called Serum, which is basically Solana's Uniswap. And I'm very bullish. I bought a lot of it. Like, I bought, like, like a high fi five figures of it in terms of, um, Serum. So more, so more than your test bag? Yeah. What, what, what do you mean by that? But like, whatever. Well, I mean, like, I mean, like, uh, I'll throw a couple of ETH of this. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. I actually threw a really concentrated bet. I mean, it was a decent amount of money. Yeah, i i threw a, I threw a, a basically a Dodge Charger Hellcat in, into Zero. <laughs> I hope you at least get two back then. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably, I'll probably, do, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna do okay. I'm, I'm all right. This crypto thing, I'm okay. I'm all yeah. right. <laughs> I hope, I hope you get two back at least. I'll yeah, take one. I'm still th I'm still considering making making a position into Sol because I think it's actually a good hedge because Sol like Solana is the only blockchain that I've been hearing out here that actually is even trying to actually scale to a million TPS or higher. And I've got some major speculation that. Well, I should probably I should probably save that. I'll, I'll save it some other time. I can't. I shouldn't spill all the beans, but I am very bullish in this place. And uh, it's Solana's basically was funded by um, FTX exchange, which is the FTX token. And they basically kind of paid to build Solana and then Solana just kind of paid to build Serum, which is their automatic decks and stuff. So um, I already, I've already i talked to Richard about maybe adding Hex on there as a pair, because it might be the cheapest way for us to actually buy um, Hex on a DEX and stuff. So it might be kind of cool way for us to do that. You said Serum was the Ser DEX? Serum. Serum DEX. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw a link. I'll throw a link for the for the DEX out here. I'm still playing around with it. There isn't that many things. So it's, I, I think Serum would actually fuck with us more than the, that bullshit quick swap DEX. Mm -hmm. But it, I think the fees are really, the, the fees are really cheap right now. Like Solana itself can handle about 55,000 TPS right now. Wait, is it, is it, is it layer two or is it? No, it's layer, layer one. Layer one is just a side chain. No, no, no. So, so, so Solana, it, Solana's main chain is still on layer one. So the the, okay. the tr it's fifty five, it's fifty five thousand TPS right now. So it's pretty, it's and because it's brand new, pretty brand new. There really isn't that much on it. So it's like everything's lightning quick and cheap. Okay. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> just because it's empty right now. Yeah, it's empty. I mean, like, yeah, they're but they're building stuff on it. They've just launched their first. Um, they just linked like Mango Protocol on top of um, Solana, which is basically a synthetic which is just a lending and borrowing market and stuff for derivatives, which is pretty important. And pe people always never understand derivatives, dude. Derivatives are gigantic. That market is insane. Mm -hmm. Whoever, whoever, whoever gets that market is going to win big. So like on synthetics, and, uh, synthetics, but here, 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 this is the first competitor I've actually seen to synthetics really? is actually Solana. Cause Solana is the biggest derivatives exchange in crypto hmm. centralized centralized right so if you look at ftx right it got um celsius listed with them and stuff recently or a couple months ago so it's it's pretty it's pretty insane so um 
it's just kind of weird because it's like I've I've already had my bags for a, for a while, right? So it's it's ETH, Polkadot, and then I was thinking at some point if like let's just say Cardano takes a shit real bad. Look who the fuck decided to show up! God damn it! Hey. Yeah, he's gonna stay in that room right there and just think about what he's done. Hey, he's not feeling well. Cut him some slack. We can he's both feel like we can both feel like shit together. Yeah, I say he wasn't feeling so hot. Oh, okay, fine. Don't give him too hard of a time. What's going on with Sabi? Yo. Even if he is being a little bit of a bitch, we'll forgive him. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like shit too, but I was here on time. Uh, uh, what's up, I'm just a, I'm just a couple minutes late. <laughs> 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 Hour late. Like, oh, well, I'm, just, I'm a little bit behind. I'm going by. I'm going by Polish time here. Polish, Polish time. time. <laughs> <laughs> Is like that where it. you're moving to? That's not what you told me. <laughs> yeah, guys, I decided to move to Poland. How are how are the crypto taxes in Poland? Uh, Probably terrible. not too bad. <laughs> Actually, they're, they're really bad. Yeah. Are they? <laughs> they are. It's not, it's not even. It's not even. It's so bad. It's just not even an option to to uh, consider. So, so I remember when I like I did a consultation for the Polish government the other day, and then I told them just to attack Germany now. I told him just like it's like oh, you're going in the next war, right? You're either gonna get fucked by Russia or fucked by Germany. I would not be a bitch and just go down swinging. Yeah, you, you gotta make the first move and just so like, like look <laughs> both world wars, cut. Blitzkrieg, <laughs> Blitzkrieg, just just yeah. all, everything towards the German side because only idiots attack Russia during the winter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, it, it's a losing battle. Right, ten, but ten out of ten mm -hmm. times. No but now I, I guess I'm not allowed in the European Union for some fucking reason. So whatever. That's that's odd. Fuck them. The euro, the euro sucks dick anyway. Yeah. On record, it all sucks. It all sucks. Just mm. varying degrees of suck. What's up, bud? What's new with you? I'm glad you're able to recover enough to come on. <laughs> I'd say it's pretty much more or less the same for now. Mm -hmm. Just the, uh, just basically watching the the entire market. <clears throat> I think these next couple months are going to be the last leg for a while. Um, just across the entire... I'm, I'm, I don't think we're, we're close to necessarily topping. This is just speaking, like, basically across, like, everything. Um, but I do think this, this is going to be the last really big wave within this entire market cycle, and then we're going to go into kind of a, a lull for a bit. Um, so... For Ethereum, like I don't know, the price targets are really high. That doesn't it doesn't change what my <clears throat> what my targets are for uh, basically everything across the the market, even the stuff we were talking about in the last streams. Uh, yeah. But depending on how much how parabolic things get over the next two months, um, this could be basically one of the biggest moves like <sighs> we see through, and it's and this type of move. <clears throat> We well, Sabi's like, oh, let me, let me, let me wave three you. Let me wave through yeah. all of you guys right now. It, he he, he wastes no time. <laughs> no time. He just, Wasabi just whips out the chart. Let me tell you about the moon, them. my friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 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 conditions are are amazing. Uh, because Bitcoin dominance is breaking down, and I think that shit's gonna get fucked up for for the, the large majority of this cycle. And sorry, but Charlie. I, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I I think the only the only uh, temporary period where dominance at this point will crank back to the upside is is during the three to four correction where like the entire market hits like a, a local top. But even after that, um, it just looks like it's fa it's falling deeper and deeper into into like a long term downtrend for the rest of the cycle. Oh, it's deep. Like it can it can crash all the way back to. Um, I think it, for this move down, we'll see probably around 50% dominance, and then that's potentially a spot to watch watch out for, because uh, then it it can bounce. Uh, but then after that, it can it can drop back to 40% uh, or, or less in terms of dominance. Like I I really think that's regardless of what the targets are on Bitcoin, I don't think it's going to be really the driver in this this market anymore. It's full on. Um, it's going to be just explosions <laughs> in all points in value yeah <laughs> we're Wait, three, ladies and gentlemen yeah, no no this is this is the like this is the time of the market where you are so like if you fucking <laughs> if you sell at this stage you are gonna You're have a fucking just, pussy 
Yeah, it, you're, it's, it's stop just going to be... A, stop being nice, Wasabi. Just tell well, him no, the truth. I'm not, I, well, I'm getting there. Let you him just, finish. You just, you, just went, you, just went, you just went in with your fucking sword over there. <laughs> Slaying people immediately. I, I have I a shell sword. I was trying to, I was trying to basically stealth in and then go for the fucking dagger, but you just had to, no. you had to go in with the, the, your hammer and just fucking lay the law down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you entertained? So. Yeah, well, pe people are doing it with. Uh, I, I knew this was going to happen. There's already, there's already people that got wrecked, try, trying to out trade hex, and this is, this there, is where there you they get are. Behind. There they are now with less less of a bag. I knew I knew exactly this was gonna play out, and I'm just I'm 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 just making a I'm just keeping I'm just keeping a a, a close eye on the wallets that are gonna end up buying back for higher. Um, there's already that there's already multiple wallets that are basically down like thirty percent versus what and and they made they, don't look no like more dip crap. for you. No more dip. Yeah, no more no more no more dip. Dude, sorry. But, yeah, you had plenty, plenty of time, and at, at some point, the price just doesn't come back down anymore. <laughs> yeah. said, Sorry. He, basically, let, let me let me interpret what Wasabi's saying. You fucking pussies that sold, get wrecked. Yep. <laughs> that that. Have you guys seen the video where this guy's like, "Ah, oh, I sold my hex, man," and he had like oh, six yeah. million hex, and keeps going up, and then. It's like one year later, and it's up even even significantly more. I mean, the guy had like, yes, like I said, sixteen million, and then sold it for I don't know, like twenty or thirty thousand, whatever. Yeah, you're not getting one cent hex anymore. Sorry, <laughs> like, it's gone. It's just it's it's gone forever. It's kind of, it's kind of it's kind of crazy to think about that. We'll just we'll never fucking see that shit again, unless <laughs> unless someone wants to sell it to you for that. Ain't happening though. I, mean, I could dump it down if you guys want. It's up to you. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Let's see it. No balls. It'll just, it'll just pussy. Wake back up. You won't do it, pussy. Yeah, <laughs> I'll buy it up. <laughs> let me, hold on. Let me set some. Let me set some limit orders before you do that. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll try to find some more powder. Okay, I'm gonna dump three hex right now. Billion. <laughs> yeah, I picked no. up. I still picked up like another million hex between like 1.6 and 1.7. Nice. nice. Yep. Da, da, da. Let me see what's going on here. Sabi send them limit orders. It's like, go ahead. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do it, pussy. You won't. <laughs> Act all big and bad in that moon suit, but you yeah. won't pull the trigger. In stake right now. I'll only sell interest, <laughs> bros. I'll crash the market with interest only, bros. Don't fucking mm, blame me, bros. Damn. All right, Poseidon, That'd calm down. <laughs> yeah, would. you can you, you can call me God Shark. That baller. <laughs> That's God Shark to you. Just another woman, another woman for me. I don't know why I had that in my song. I was listening to disco all day today. Oh yeah, disco is classic, man. Shit. Dude, di people shit on disco, man. Disco is a shit. Oh, I wish I could play some of his music, man. I mean, for anyone that knows this right here, look. Okay, that's enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good, good love making music, too, man. Shit. It works well. The, the strokes, oh, is man. That, the is strokes. that what you use, Brad? Disco? Hey, I listen to all sorts of music, man. Shit, I don't care. Gets his little hexagon <laughs> Whatever flashes. sets the mood. Disco. <laughs> that's what Brad is. I don't think I've ever met a girl that says I get in the mood by disco. <laughs> <laughs> More than, a, more than a woman. Yeah, that shit's hard. Anyway. Let's see here. <laughs> you guys want to... Alright, I'm going to test you guys. Let's see if you guys know... Wait, let me let me go back a little bit. Yeah, we go. Is 
so, do you know? Tap toe. It's all about the phone phone. <laughs> Anyways, for all my South Park fans. Love me some South Park man shit. Yeah, when when Jimmy when Jimmy's a crip. <laughs> yeah, he's like, so many good scenes. They know he's no like, bounds. He's like, this is forearms and wheels here, man. They just popped 13 punk ass bloods. <laughs> and they brought us ginger ale and fucking, <laughs> and fucking marshmallows. South Park has uh, given me a lot of a lot of laughs, man. Gut laughs, you know. Nothing better. Yes, sir. Oh, I know, Paul. Paul's so right. Too many people crying like bitches about cell going sideways. You obviously weren't none. none these people weren't fucking like Litecoin holders. Mm. They don't know what sideways. I is. remember that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not even in cell, but here's the thing. From from what can I what I can relate from even previous altcoin experience or just hacks is when it's consolidating like that. Like usually. It's either going to break up or down, but usually when it's like that, it's those are the options. <laughs> well, here's the thing: what I'm trying to say, it's tightening up, just like what Hex did. I mean, it went from one penny to like now two pennies, and it's a coiling spring. So I think you know the same thing possibly for for sell too. I mean, so many people they get complacent, and and now you got people who are like, oh, I should have bought this price, should have bought that price, and you don't realize it until hindsight, right? Hindsight right. bias. Yo, DC, did you ever sell all your uh, Litecoin bag, or did you uh, hold on to those lovely sentimental coins? Anyway, so we're just going to continue on. <laughs> I can go to sleep. I'm good. <laughs> Wait, what time are you actually getting up for that run or for that power I step? I don't know, walk? like five or six. I mean, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Bro, I'm not losing. That's what. <laughs> Are you literally doing like a sober October Joe Rogan style hey, thing? Yeah, it's you like putting like ten bucks in the pool. There's like fifteen people, but obviously I don't give a shit about the money. I just not mm. not gonna lose. Okay, let l let let me tell you uh, just like what you the mentality you have. I am still holding my Litecoin, and I will not fucking <laughs> lose. I will sell this into profit someday. <laughs> you, no, you, you, you I have suffered you, too much with this coin. <laughs> You definitely Too much. will. You definitely yeah. will. But yeah, I feel it. <laughs> yeah, you might. You might actually get that. Um, that rather soon. There's a lot. The Litecoin Lyco is probably gonna pump hard as fuck. The time I, there's, is there, now. Yeah, it's it's now. It's I think it's actually entering its its bull yeah. its bull stage now or with. Never. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, or basically now or never. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> say it's probably it's probably gonna happen just because there's you too can, many. Uh, uh, let's see. There, there's um. I think if I think it falls, I think it falls out of the top ten after it pumps the cycle. Like when we go. Yeah, I, I, I think I think Litecoin's out. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. so I would not. I think this I, is the time. Yeah, I would not hold Litecoin going into a bear market. Fuck that. That's shit. That's gonna dump so hard. <laughs> oh my God. I did that the last put it, time. Put it, put no it down like old Yeller. Just put oh it God, down. Yeah. Nice and easy. Take <laughs> it out behind the shed. Mm -hmm. And take the shotgun out, put it in between the eyes, it'll be all right. Put it down yeah. too quickly. Fuck, fuck, man. <laughs> could, could you imagine if Char Charlie Lee said, I just bought my coins back? Oh. <laughs> I don't you, even think you, he's that stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't I think do. he's going to say anything. But it's because there's there's a Alex Becker's channel, uh, Crypto Journey, mm -hmm. and Data Dash. Mm -hmm. And they, they've all been talking about Litecoin. And yep. it's at it's like full, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna pump. I there's plenty of uh, the whole market is basically going to explode at this point, and then um, it's gonna be all about like how stuff performs relative to each other. Like it it's it'll have its flash in the pan, I guess, for the for the bull market stage. But you definitely want to capitalize if you're holding Litecoin bags. Um, you do want to capitalize it during the bull market. You do not like. I'm just looking purely at the technicals on on Litecoin. It has it's it has its two months of glory and then it dies for four years. That, that's how yeah. that's how it works. Never to see the top ten again. Yeah. Sorry, that just made me laugh. Did you buy takes Litecoin spot? Yeah, yeah I saw that <laughs> on, the, on, the, on the number twenty three spot. Not hating on Did you buy though? <laughs> Still got some work to do. Yeah, no, no, I really appreciate. I mean, I really do like Digibyte. The Digibyte community is cool, but I think the founder left as well. So I mean, we're not we're in the same boat right now. A bunch of losers, a bunch of losers to me. 
<laughs> but I hold this loser all day. Dude, I've been holding this loser since 2016. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. Ouch, <sighs> Rexilla. Dude, you're going to have to do like karaoke at Vegas. <laughs> Dude, you have no idea how much richer I'd be if I hadn't have been buying like quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brain thinking, yeah. dude. Oh too, my god, dude! Oh my god, what Sabi knows the struggles I went, how much I was working, buying to buy Litecoin. Like <laughs> <Wait, laughs> like yeah, it sounds pretty stupid uh, when you talk about oh, it. <laughs> bro, dude, I suffering out here. Like, I would I would call with Sabi, like I was on on weed whacking jobs or out on a job or something. You already hear like me chainsawing stuff. Hey, Wasabi, all Wasabi can hear is me, like, fucking chainsawing trees in the forest for light coins. (laughs) 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 Fucking up the ozone layer for light coin. (laughs) Light coin was, like, the first first one that, like, a couple of my, like, closer friends actually got, like, pretty rich off of or got some substantial Mm. money from. So, I I remember those days. (laughs) Ooh, shout out to you, man. awesome yeah but i did not give up that should let you know that's why the name is called dollar cost crypto man yeah it's legitly man just keep fucking buying except on the top you're gonna win over time everything's pumping right now it's nice. mm-hmm. yeah well, what about Especially... tether <laughs> Burr. you should put all your money into tether and see what happens i know with dollar cost you mentioned like uh, dollar costing in, uh, especially if you can have things that actually like pay you an in interest as well and, and yep. do do well with uh, like a decorrelation, right? Because when things go down in other markets or even traditional markets, people are always looking for a bond or a yield or something like that. And uh, it's, it's nice to be able to have that sort of a certainty. Right. Oh, hey, I thought Jared Tate left. Did he come back? I remember he said he left on vacation or he left on something. I remember. Huh. He is working on some awesome things. Right. Oh, okay. If he's back, that's cool. Well, he didn't Charlie Leo, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just just your bags. Like literally, I've, I've said like I've got so much gripes. I I I I've, I tell Wasabi sometimes in my drunken stupors back in the day when I used to drink, I would tell Wasabi like all shit faced. I'd be like, I could run these projects better than them. They like, they don't even, they can't do shit. <laughs> Like all, all Litecoin would have to do is just launch some DeFi platform, and that bitch would fly to thousands within months. Like, oh, oh, okay, got a crypty girl. Mm. Okay, yeah, my bad. The thing is, it's it's so hard to keep up with all like these nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-seven thousand uh, cryptocurrencies. It's pretty insane. No, Herb, yeah, I don't drink that much anymore. Not because I don't want to, just because it's like it's I, I, to get I jacked. Yeah. Well, I could drink and get jacked anyway. I mean, but it's uh, yeah, it does fuck up the protein synthesis. So yeah, I don't yeah, be too crazy. that's true. Yeah, it's just mostly like uh, I need to stay productive, pretty much. Mm-hmm. I, I'm like I'm I'm really 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 running on a tight schedule like these days. Like it's fucking annoying. It's it's pretty so you're insane. Not a functioning alcoholic. Got it. No, no, no. Not yet. I'm I'm a coffeeolic and stuff. I don't know. I, I pop pills. I don't know. Uh, this, this is this is Adderall bottles. Empty. New vigil. Empty. Pro vigil. Empty. Uh, and of course, good old creatine. Monohydrate. Classic. Man. Classic. Wow, I talk about fucking drugs and the thing goes to 140 viewers. Wow. <laughs> Fucking nice. Yeah, so yeah, you guys don't want me drunk, man. You guys, I'll say some, cr- I'll say some wild shit. You guys, I'll say some wild shit. That's off there. That's in Vegas. Yeah. Vegas, we can get fucked up. Oh, sh- wait. Is it- I guess I can announce this. Yeah, so I'm gonna be one of the speakers at the. Uh- oh oh yeah, no, I, sh- I sh- yeah, I shouldn't. Yeah, well, I'll- yeah, I'll-, I'll keep quiet on it. But I- I'm a speaker. I mean, why don't? You- <laughs> I mean, you should just I'll, throw it out there. Fuck it. <laughs> right. Let, let me just find the official name for it first and everything. Just because I wasn't too sure. Because like, he told me he told me a different names for what the conference was going to be, and I haven't seen what he finally did choose for the conference. Does it line up the same time that we're out there or no? Uh, when, when are you guys out there? 
June 24th through the so, 27th? So it's June 4th to the June 7th. Okay, so it's earlier in the month. Yeah, earlier in the month, but shit, I'll come back. <laughs> yeah, you better. It's not that far away. I mean, shit, man. I'm, I'm going to be at the... Oh. I think it's at the Red Rock Casino, I think. I think. Yeah, with Donovan, you guys. Yeah, with Donovan's. I need to find out what the hell the name of it. But yeah, I'm going to be a speaker at the Donovan show. I'm not sure if it's going to be on the second to last day or the last day. But uh, yeah, come check it out. I think there's over 500 people there. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, speaking to a lot of guys, talking about crypto getting fucked up, losing all my money at the craps table, and then weighing it back on the blackjack table. Let's go, baby. That's why you leave your keys at home. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, man. 500. Congrats. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Thanks, man. I think this will be more, actually. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure on the, on the total attendance, but it's a lot of people. Donovan's a great market marketer. Yeah, the Conference of Masculine Excellence. There we go. Yes. Make reservations. Oh, is, that, is, is, is that the actual name? Yeah. Oh, nice. I wasn't sure if it's going to be the Man in Demand Conference, but I guess that's the name of it. Come meet your one and only dollar cost crypto, Litecoin Moses, Hex Jesus. You won't speak in a full moon suit the entire time. Oh, you won't? I won't? You won't. <laughs> I, won't be I will be there. In that thing. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I'll walk around Vegas with you guys all fucked up in the suit, though. <laughs> all right. All right. You can stay 10 feet behind. <laughs> yeah, awesome. uh, I got to figure out what hotel I'm going to stay at. Let me see what's Same. a really good token. The, Cosmo, the Cosmopolitan hear, was actually pretty good rooms, I hear, actually. I hear, Co I hear Cosmo's pretty good. It's a younger crowd, so I was looking at that one. The clubs um, are right there, too. Yeah, I've been to that club. That club was banging, dude. That shit was hot. Really that shit nice. was tight. I was thinking about Cosmo, and then I forget which one has, like, the really awesome uh, pool parties as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like we're going to live stream. Like, it's going to be Wasabi's going to be there because I'm going to force him to go. Uh, Wasabi's going to be there all shit face and everything, and then we're going to make up the hangover. <laughs> I'll, roof, I'll bring the roofies. Okay. As long as I'm not the guy in the roof. <laughs> Brand, sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> that actually might work out best for you, honestly, by the end of the night. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Man, some debauchery goes down at the Cosmopolitan, you guys. Debauchery. Yeah. Like, I imagined. Like, I was, last time I was there, I mean, that last time I was there was kind of lame, but the time before that was fucking sick. But last time I was there was for an actual Litecoin conference, and it was 2019. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, they had those. But 2019. That's cool. Uh, Charles Hop Charles Hopkinson was there with crypto finally on his lap. I literally saw them Are at you the bar. Yes, I did. I was <laughs> there. I was there. Should have got a picture of that. That would have been great. Yeah, that shit was crazy. No, I wish I had that picture. Like the thing is that 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 actual uh, sh it's a chandelier bar they were yeah. in. That chandelier bar is really nice, actually. It's pretty cool. And two, that they have a kick-ass breakfast spot in there when you're fucked up. I mean, literally, it's like breakfast spot, like buffet. Everything's hella good, dude. This shit's I, ten out of ten recommend. Yeah, I think yeah. you're about to sell me. I might have to. <clears throat> might have to book a room there. Cos just got the Cosmo, the Aria. Yeah, I think that's the club, the Aria. Aria, yep. yeah. Aria. Look at Wasabi contemplating. Should I go? Should I not go? He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Honestly, but I, you know, you know what tables I've had the most fun on, like the Golden Nugget. I've actually had a lot of fun on the Golden Nugget. Just, Isn't the Golden Nugget like a little ways out, or yeah, it's it's on the old, it's on the old strip, the, the old, old strip, yeah, the old strip, yeah. It's really the t dude, the nicest dealers I've ever like. I've I, I've just gone there just to play around with a little money which, when I just go with some of my friends, some of my other friends, and they, you know, they're like they're just they just want to play like a couple hundred dollars on the table and stuff, and then oh my god, the, some of the nicest dealers. I always tip them good. Yeah. They have to be. <laughs> Woo. There he is. What's up, guys? What's How going on? That? Coffee? Man, my yeah, fucking back hurt. I'm like an old man, dude. I got a fucking ice pack on my back right now. Why? Like, I don't know. Did I think you, I pulled did something. Did you do poor deadlifts? <laughs> we were talking about that. I'm earlier. just getting too swole, dude. Like, I got I to gotta slow down. Just getting too <laughs> yoked. That's good. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. But uh, yeah, what's going on? What are we talking about? NFTs, Las, Las Vegas, Vegas right now. Oh, Vegas, Vegas right now. 
Yeah. Vegas, you, you going coffee? You going coffee? Uh, sh- Come on, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Yeah, I want to, I want to go, but I want to be like kind of discreet about it. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> you, see, I mean, it, you see him with the glasses and like the the plastic nose or whatever is a disguise. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, I mean, it's gonna be kind of like a free for all, dude. There's gonna be so many of us. Like, it's gonna be it's hard gonna to really get everyone house. in one spot. So I feel like I'll just be hanging out with you know a couple guys here, a couple guys there, running um, into people. It should be cool. Yeah. Yeah, isn't there like one big meetup though on Saturday or something? Like there's one like, actual. There's like there's like meetups every day. Yeah, I think they're on whatever like the tower thing is or whatever to eat. It's yeah. Like big big dinner or something where you can like bungee jump off if you want to afterwards. Uh, <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Why not? Wait, what are we doing? We just got like people are like we just got rich and let, let's risk our lives and bungee jump off a building. Dude, that that that's I mean, what I was saying sense. earlier. Like usually I would my I would do that shit in a heartbeat, but now I'm like, I got a lot of money. <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> not. Dude, yeah, <laughs> I'd I mean not. it's my my thoughts on that are different too. I've done it. I've done it before, and I'm like looking back on it. I'm like shit, man. I'm kind of lucky to even be alive I'm right glad now. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I was kind of reckless a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. Give me a couple of shots and be like, yeah, sure. I'll jump off that roof. That's cool. Yeah, who the fuck now, are we kidding? Now I'm like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck I'm down for me? fun, but that's not my. Con- yeah, that's what I don't consider. Okay, fun. strip clubs like terror. Sure. No, I just love the the the. The vision of like you're eating dinner at the big tower and then like hexagons are just dropping down behind that's, you like that's what I'm thinking. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> well, let's go back to the original idea: heelys and top hats. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, dude, catch me in my heelys, bro. Oh, Only... so just hit seven dollars. God damn it! Yes. <sighs> What's up? Yes. Ooh. Dude. Oh, so? God damn it. nice. You see, where do we go from here? What's the next? Uh, what's the next target? Yeah. Uh, we we're what's talking about one twenty earlier. Eight. Eight to twelve. It's it's gonna go eight dollars and twelve, then trend to fifteen and probably go down and then go hit the hit all the way to fucking twenty five dollars. <laughs> I hope it makes it to fifty, man. Holy shit. Oh, it's 50, 50, yeah, is, 50, yeah. is fifty realistic or is fifty like moon boy yes, talk? Yes, that's fucking no, that's fucking pleb talk. That's what that is. <laughs> Let's his talk. Conser- his conservative estimate is a hundred. God damn you! Know what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a beer. I'll be right back. Yeah, go get a beer, dude. Come hang out. Popping bottles. Yep. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> full astronaut garb. Where do yeah. I get one of those? How much was that? He's got like six of them now. Hey, bring one for me in Vegas. I want to buy one. Uh, it might be a little bit too big for you. <laughs> yeah, good point. He probably bought it. Probably so, Chris, the coffee, uh, congrats on finishing the course, man. That's, that's a lot of work, you know? Yeah, thanks, dude. Um, I haven't shielded it yet. HexPassiveIncome.com. Go there. Uh, it's a good referral program for all you guys. If you want to make 80 bucks, it's uh, it's a course. It's out. Um, if you want to onboard someone and get paid for it, just get the course. $200. It'll save you time and money. Um, you guys probably don't need to buy it yourself. You guys are experts. So, like, it's for people that are no coiners to take them from, from absolutely to knowing nothing at all. So, so that's it. <laughs> that's my shill. Yeah, no, I there's have a- to check it out since the link you gave me didn't freaking work. Especially that weird one that was, uh, what was it, pen uh, one five? Weird. Yeah, well, we call that yeah. user error, Molly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> user I, did try error. To ac- <laughs> I did try to access it for myself, so that might have been the issue. Yeah. Mm. The, the courses are legit. I know uh, a lot of people I've seen in this chat already have mentioned taking the uh, course at Dollar Cost just finished too, and, and you can definitely learn from other people's experiences and, and not make uh, the same mistakes or you can learn from their successes and and kind of replicate those as well too if you're you know studious and you know what you're doing as well so yeah. they're uh, they're definitely beneficial for for anyone but like you mentioned especially if you're just getting into it the the best thing you can do is be educated yeah well what mine does is it makes you it gives you the, all, all the tools you need for a staking ladder so that's pretty much all it does um so if you want to have a hex staking ladder and not have to hold someone's hand through it and if you've got a YouTube channel already, you might as well put this link in your YouTube uh, description in case someone clicks on it. Uh, it's an easy way to make 80 bucks. Just go sign up for an affiliate pro, uh, link on hexpassiveincome.com. DC our, DC's our, is a little our, more high end. Our, Arte said uh, <laughs> your sobriety lasted all of 10 minutes, Mr. I don't drink. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, the price of the brick just went up. True. <laughs> I've even I I've even refreshed my block folio, dude. You check that out. It's looking real nice these days, guys. Really fucking nice. So I, I found out I was rugged. I was rugged out of my beer. They threw it away out of the fridge. Mm. Sorry. Guess you're gonna have yeah. to actually stay sober now. <sighs> yeah, I, did I can always keep smoking moon rocks. Oh, <laughs> crack? <laughs> <laughs> Don't bash it till you try it. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is awkward. Uh <laughs> anyways. <laughs> hey you guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Yeah, let's smash let's that like button. Done. Smash it. Smash it. Hulk smash the like button. Get Be sure to follow my Ballyet brand, my look into crypto, Motley the Investor, and Crypto Coffee. Yeah, they're all following us. They know who we are. But if yeah, you're new here. Great. Welcome. I mean, yeah, welcome. Welcome to the shit show. Crypto Coffee has an amazing course for... Wait, wait how much is it going for? About $120 or $100? $200. $200, yeah. $200 wait, course. Wait, $199. Take that dollar off. Yeah, no, it's one, one, unit bias. Yeah. $197. $197, you guys. $197. <laughs> you going to undercut me? Yeah. No, no, no. No. <laughs> no. Doing your course. D DC will pay the $2 <laughs> out of his own damn pocket. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. For that. We, uh, we did that when you were getting your beer. But uh, yeah, dude, buy my course. It's 200 bucks, and uh, you get 80 bucks. So that's not a bad deal at all. I think it's pretty generous. 40% referral split. So totally. And yeah. Let me, t let me tell you this, you guys. It is a pain in the ass to onboard people. It Fast. truly is. Mm -hmm. So if you have somebody that won't leave you alone, an annoying cousin, your mom, your dad, or something the like people, that. The people you don't like. Uh, the people that don't <laughs> matter in your life. Send them over Make here. Them pay pay Make them pay for a course. Make them pay for a course. Mom, I, okay, I know you gave birth to me and everything, but like you're really annoying right now. Just yeah. pay Crypto Coffee $200 and get out of my hair. Yep. Thank you. That's, that's the best shill of all. You know, It's really the time that you save because – you know, depending, everyone's got a different level of hand-holding needs, right? And right, you don't right. want to be, I mean, you got 24 hours in the day. You guys are all yeah. busy and you're great shills. I mean, every hexagon I've ever met, amazing shill. Like actually creative. <laughs> actually, that's a lie. Not everyone. Not everyone. <laughs> Everybody in the hexagon totally. is a shill. <laughs> yeah, and I, hate, I hate the fact that we, uh, I hate the fact that we use shill negatively. You know, it should be a positive thing. We should embrace our yeah. shilling. And we should good all be promoters. future shillionaires. Good promoters. <laughs> I know that I keep forgetting to use like normal words. Like promoting yeah. is like the word. Crypto space, you're like shill. I know. Like, Shilling is like a, not a good Shill word. Shill me in the your real shekels. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that that's the same reason that like, you know, Crypto yeah. Coffee had, had made this course to help people out in Hex. It's just th this stuff. I mean, obviously, we've all been in crypto for a long time. So this stuff sort of comes intuitive to us. It's still a little bit of a learning process, but crypto coffee crypto coffee's course is a great way for you to learn how to get into hex which is it, yep. it, it's it teaches you all the tips and tricks and some of the easiest ways to get in and how also how to save money on gas fees in terms of how to buy your hex and what are the best options right now uh, that's the same reason why we made the crypto mindset course was to help people overall get into cryptocurrencies and, and sort of make a strategy if they want more of a diversified portfolio some people may say yo fuck all those cryptos i'm getting into just hex crypto coffee is your man and I mean, you guys both dive into the more complex yes. aspects of cryptocurrency as well. So, oh no, of course, of course, coffee's course into hex, because there's the shallow yeah. surface stuff of just basic security, getting fiat into cryptocurrency, and then there's the intricacies Ow. that really—that's where you make your real money. Yeah, yeah. Well, sorry, my headphones went out, but yeah, I made the course for for three reasons, right? And obviously, I want to make some money, right? But um, I want number one, <laughs> number one, you guys, number one. You I stand on the money. shoulders of all the people I make money on. You can learn but, a lot but, from that number one reason. I, I, okay, I was thinking more like let's get that one out of the way. That's not the, that's not the primary reason. Like, let's, just, let's just get that out of the way before everyone calls me, you know, it, a greedy asshole. Sweep that one under the <laughs> the, the real like if it goes priority wise the priorities are onboarding like above everything else like right, this right. i want to reach the maximum people and really the maximum pocket of people is no coiners which is why i designed a course yeah. specifically right. for someone that doesn't know shit like all you guys probably wouldn't benefit because you already know so much um so this but really like think about it you know 99.9 percent .9 of the world needs to know how to set up their ledger how to set up their coinbase account 
shit that you don't even think about. And we don't even get to staking until the last half. So number one is onboard new people. Number two is make money, but also find a way for you guys to all make money too. Like it's another way, it's, it's another thing in your pocket if you want to uh, make some side money, right? Are you trying to incentivize us to shill? <laughs> I mean, if you're already yeah, doing it, you might as well get paid for doing it, right? If you're, if you're already doing it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, if you ask Captain Knuckles, right, or you ask Knuckles, twenty bucks is twenty bucks, and he's giving you eighty bucks. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's a good split, you know, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. Twenty dollars. Yeah, do this the easy way or the hard way. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, well, like you said, a lot of us have had had like, yeah, have had the the trouble and the pain, especially if it's taken someone like uh, a while to to learn the process. So, I mean, you mentioned. How many hours you spend uh, working on it, and and yeah, at the end of the day, it really is kind of like a process. So it's cool the way that you describe it, kind of ramping up into more uh, advanced information that they can comprehend uh, at that time. Yeah, yeah, and it's a one and done deal. So I'm not doing subscription. It's it's just you pay for the course. You actually have a seven day money back guarantee in case you you try it, you don't like it. So I mean, I actually believe in what I'm doing. Like I'm not just trying to bullshit you guys. Like. Um, it, it teaches you everything you need to know. And I wish someone taught me that, you know, three years ago or five years right. ago, because yep. you're going to save months of time and probably a couple hundred, at least $200 of just stupid shit, if not more, because I have a whole security class that goes over, you know, the telegram scams and the phishing attacks and the fake ledger.com, the fake apps you can download from MetaMask. There's a million ways to die. And like, if you're not careful, you're going to get fucked. I've seen it happen to my own good friend who's an engineer, you know, a smart guy. And uh, he got his Dropbox password hacked because he stored his private keys oh. on Dropbox. Whoa. Lost all his money. And I, I was the one that got him oh, into hacks God. too. So it's like, I felt bad about that. And you know, I don't want people to have to do that. So I talk about 2FA, get your Google Authenticator. Stuff about like even just having a burner phone and a burner laptop for crypto only. Like that's what you should all really be doing. Mm, yeah. um, not, mm. not carrying your actual private keys on your phone that you bring with you everywhere. Because mm -hmm. you're going to leave your phone in a taxi. You're going to leave it on a train. And Molly's Why? laughing because he's like, oh, shit. Molly's oh, like, man. fuck, you're not supposed to do that? This <laughs> way <laughs> real quick. <laughs> yeah. Um, Vogel says, I think 199 is very expensive. Uh, what are you comparing that to, Vogel? Compared to what? Sir, I charge almost $1,000. This this is a great deal. Yeah, one, This is 90% uh, cheaper than... Yeah, yeah it's, it's not. It's, re it's really not a lot at all. Like if you, you if you compare it, you have to compare it to what 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 already you know other um, other courses that are available and uh, even this one as it's uh, focusing around tax that's yeah. not it's a, actually that's a that's very a, good that's a good price it's a, it's a really good price. No, it's a good, I mean, it's, it's a good. Well, question. his suggestion is uh, give it for free for a limited time. You, that doesn't work. Like when you give away courses for mm -hmm. free, they're not incentivized to actually complete them because they they have no skin in the game, right? You have to sacrifice a little bit, right? If you want to actually learn something. So I actually want people to complete this. Like I want people to complete it because then they onboard into hacks. They're set up for financial freedom for life, right? They get a passive income machine that I think is worth a lot more than two hundred bucks personally. So yeah. I think it's probably the opportunity of a lifetime. Um, you know, I'd pay a lot more than 200 it, for the opportunity of life. It, it well, like costs you said, it just it, it, it protects you from the space too, right? Because you can lose two hundred dollars here in a blink of an eye. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's just that's just one, one that's like one bad one bad move. One bad move. Yeah. One one <laughs> click, I could do it right now. I could send that shit straight to the gunner. Like what's the yeah. cost of like cutting that learning curve down? I mean, how much time do you want to spend, like Motley said? I mean, now if if you're not properly educated, I mean <laughs> It could take sending, thinking you know your basics, MetaMask or this or that, and you send it to the wrong one or you send it to the contract. And like, if you can just become yeah. educated and, and not learn from other people's mistakes that they've made, then like uh, Coffee mentioned, uh, that stuff is worth the time. And, and yeah, if you just give something away for free, people aren't going to be incentivized. And so uh, why not incentivize yeah. everyone and be also that it's targeting people that are kind of you know, getting into crypto, they want to know how to, how to, you yeah, know, yeah. know more. But I, but I am open to suggestions, right? So like, if you have run a successful course before and you have tips that were successful and like, you have real experience, like I'd be happy to talk with you. Yeah. Um, I was thinking a lot about, you know, the actual price point and, you know, I compared it to a lot of other courses in the space. It's 90% cheaper than most of those. And uh, I thought it was pretty fair. Um, but, you know, I'm open to changing it around if there's a reason and if there's kind of like social proof that like this works for me, 
and all that stuff. So I'm not trying to say like you're, you're just flat out wrong. You know, it's like every, you know, I, I definitely welcome feedback too. So, well, th well, this is probably good too, because I know there's a lot of guys here that uh, follow Miguel and uh, his course that he does with Charlie. And so most of them know about Hex, but there's, there's probably still a few guys in here that never deep dived into Hex or just right. never got into it because a lot of them sell guys or maybe something else caught their eye. So like it is a very valuable <clears throat> cryptocurrency to mm -hmm. take that further look in. And if you have $200 to spend, it's, it's well worth it. I mean, Hex is done. I don't even know. I, today, I, today, if you bought it at the lowest, we're at like 383x of what we initially bought in. <laughs> and, and everyone on the screen is pretty much, I think, looking to crypto is <laughs> the only one that hasn't been here since day one. But even, even him, he, he got in, uh, at a good time and that's that's without even the interest being added that uh hex is earning us all about 40 percent apy right now on all of our stakes so you're looking at more of around a 450x to date so like it's a good it's a good cryptocurrency to learn about if you want if you want that deep dive information and maybe you've heard of it from like miguel and charlie's course or heard it from crypto twitter it might behoove yeah. you to check out his course spend 200 dollars yeah. And really learn the ins and outs of what Hex can yeah. do. I mean, dollar cost will te teach you a whole different realm. It, it's like you know how to play the crypto game, like how to right. how to do it right. And uh, this is uh, what I do is very one very specific niche thing, which I think is going to blow up and be giant and huge. But I teach you one thing, just teach you one thing very well. That's that's it. Just Both here, here. Strategies to make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. What is your time worth, too? I mean, if you can recommend someone to a course like that that you know is steering them in the proper direction, then, hey, now you're saving multiple hours and multiple conversations, you know, yeah. going back and forth trying to help someone for free. I mean, if you can kind of get them into it, uh, yeah, that's that's always great. It's a win-win situation, right? Business should go two ways, not just one way. So this is definitely a win-win from yeah. everything that I've seen so far. Yeah. And yep. Can't wait for the results. Yeah. So, so th these are these are conversations I've had about the courses, right? Here, here's the thing. Yeah. Look, the time, like, like we're in a bull market right now. Every day that you waste that you don't know what the fuck you're doing, you're fucking yourself out of tons of money. So just yeah. like ju just just like equities, right? About it's typically 14 to 20 days in a cryptocurrency is where you make most of the gains because a lot of times it's it's up 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 then sideways reaccumulation and up 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 so it's just like yeah. equities right so if, if this is why hodlers win over time is yeah. that you're you not trading those days you're and, fucked yeah you're fucked. and that's what my yeah. course teaches i have a whole mindset lesson about how the people with the long-term vision and the hodlers are the only people that make money right they, it's not a days and weeks game it's a months and years game and uh, and that's another thing too it's like i want to get people in i'm hoping to get a couple of people to buy it like in the next week or two because i'm worried the train's going to leave the station and i want some people right. to have learned from me and i want some good yeah. testimonials and reviews about like you know, oh shit, this course changed my life and everything. And that, that will come, but yeah. I'd rather they buy it now at two or three cents than so up at like can, seven or so nine. So they can enjoy the next 10 X coming. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Totally. That's yeah. why I'm so much, like incentivized to start shilling it now. I'm like, all right guys, like, my I mean, it, it, it could be, it could be better and I'm going to have to improve it. Right. When pulse chain comes out, I'm going to definitely, it's a work in progress. Like I'm going to add to it and all that. It's awesome, man. Appreciate you being able to, to do something like that, you know, cause a lot of people, yeah. they just, they would rather sit back and kind of not do anything. But, you know, I see what you're doing as like going out of your way to, I mean, when you mentioned how many hours you spent on that, like that's, that's not chump change as far as hours go. And it shows that you're wanting a win-win situation and wanting to benefit the community. I mean, knowledge is power yeah. for sure. Damn yeah. fucking right, sir. So, but, but, you know, criticism's welcome. Feedback's welcome. Uh, if you, if you buy the course and you think something about it sucks, let me know. Uh, you know, I tried my best. Always improving. How did we discover hacks, guys? KC wants to know. Where? Ah. KC, how did you guys discover hacks? Well, it all started with a guy named Richard Hart in a top hat. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I fucking just watched his uh, podcast, his YouTube channel. Yeah. I, fo I followed Pre Doug boring. Polk. I followed uh, Doug Polk. I ended up finding him because, one, I like poker, and then he was making fun of BitConnect at the time. And then, uh, yeah, same thing. I saw him do an interview with some dude in a top hat. I was like, what the fuck? And then I actually listened to what he had to say and uh, had a very good argument why poker is just a 
negative sum game and i'm a big yeah. fan of poker so he when he was able to actually convince me his arguments were very convincing and seemed like a very intelligent individual followed him ever since you know my, my so, first interview was actually uh roger ver because i liked him watching him good, shit on roger ver yeah yeah that's pretty funny when i got into uh crypto in 2017 i mean i quickly learned about like crypto twitter and then it's like oh my gosh there's this whole a whole bunch of people and in, in different uh, twitter accounts that are like anyways uh p potentially big and stuff so richard was definitely one of the people that was like the influencers at the time and and uh, about like march april may that i started following him and then yeah i remember him calling the the 20k top and realizing like after listening to some of his streams like man this guy uh this, this guy is legit i mean no, no matter what people think about like the I don't know. You have to look at like the subs. Um, you have to look at the words that they're saying, right? And realize that Richard has kind of like called the 20k top and some of these other things. So when he mentioned that he was going to create something that what the banks do, right? The certificate of deposit. Uh, I thought that was really cool. So got in on day one, and and also I had been in Litecoin and some of these other coins that just uh, personally didn't do that well for me. And so I was kind of like, well, fuck it. I'm just going to put my last little bit into Hex, and it turned out. Um, to be the best decision ever so well yeah. while we've been talking too, like i think we were saying like 1.95 or something like that evidently hex just wicked up to 2.12 that's uh, not true <laughs> that's a lie i just checked you got me you got me uh, good we, we didn't wake up to 2.1 uh i'm gonna no, two, we're at two cents right now man i, I ain't yeah it's like <laughs> i ain't complaining right now I have to look. no no no. i'm just saying but i know i know we have a couple of limit orders um a little bit above two cents so that's probably what it ran into those goddamn the same ones from the last three days huh you think it's a yeah, bot probably. or something yeah yeah it could be i know there's a couple of our bots uh following hex yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit, we had a two point uh we had a wick up to 2.4 cents uh that one that <laughs> for a split second dude i can't even fathom how high hex is about to go Oh, it's, it's gonna go. Oh, I know. Fucking. <laughs> Here it enters Wasabi. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wasabi. Do you, have any, do you have any charts, real quick? Since it is such a beautiful chart, and I know some people were asking for some uh, of your beautiful TA magic. All right. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's pull up Not charts. to twist your arm or anything. Somebody, uh, somebody put a Reddit post with the chart up, and I thought that was a good idea, like in, in our cryptocurrency. And I was thinking maybe we should do a Reddit raid, but maybe it's time to start scraping all that bullshit off Reddit and like mm -hmm. get more positive hex stuff on Reddit. The only problem is you got to be like stealth shilling it because the moderator's a douchebag and fucking just yeah. takes down They're, positive hex right. I don't even yeah, go you, into Reddit anymore. Yeah, I haven't. I'm, that's but people there, go there. That's the problem. Yeah, there's a, there's a huge there's a huge cesspool on Reddit, but it is a lot of people. <laughs> um, I'm guessing yeah. it's probably at least like 2 million on the r slash cryptocurrency subreddit or somewhere close to that. There's a lot of, there's definitely a lot, a huge audience on there. So uh, if you can, <clears throat> if you can basically come across or at least convince the audience there, it's a, there's a lot, there's a lot. It, the thing with, the thing with Reddit is, it's, I mean, it's just it's a lot of it's it's a lot of pleb money that's sloshing around through <laughs> these fucking <laughs> well it's true because they they have like r slash bitcoin markets where people talk about you know the coins and stuff they're holding and then they just fucking downvote each other because it's so fucking <laughs> it's so fucking stupid so i can't it's yeah. really hard for me to take it to really take it serious because people just start yelling at <laughs> yelling at each other it's awful, um, dude. I can't spend more than an hour on yeah. there, and I just start to die, like yeah. slowly. <laughs> it's fucking yeah. bad. But if you if you look at the results, that's all that really matters. So, um, what, well, my, my what... problem is that like the front page of Google, if you look up mm -hmm. is is hacks a scam. It's it's not even like articles. It's like five Reddit links in a row mm. of just like why hex is a scam. And it's like God damn, it. and they're all from December, like when it first launched. They're all like. A year over a year old so it's like it'd be a good time to kind of knock those down i think yeah just get some get some uh posts on there with the with the chart yeah let's see now what's exposition be what would we yeah, get it's, it's, on, be? It's, it's on the quarter two list it hex is on that list wait <clears throat> should be oh, on like that I, uh, I want to share oh, it uh, is it is on the list <laughs> real quick <laughs> do you want to share uh this um, oh yeah of course this chart yep. that richard 
Richard just put out the other day, just so you guys can see the ROI that uh, that we've all received from Hex over since the essentially the beginning of 2020 till present day, over 15,875 percent. And if you look down here, I don't, are you guys able to see that, or do I need to blow yeah. that up? Yeah, yeah, I, I can see it. Okay, well, we... so it's a little blurry though. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. So I think sometimes because of my, I have a widescreen monitor, the resolution is kind of odd. But um, yeah, you can see down here, Litecoin, poor Litecoin, 473. <laughs> Man, what? <laughs> it, 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 you can't see it. It's in this mass of lines right down here, this little green line, though, at 473%. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah. And then we got Cardano. That's not bad. Cardano killing it. Chainlink, Stellar, Bitcoin down in here. But I mean, the, the returns that we made on Hex not included in the yeah. interest is just absolutely insane and you can actually really good it's a really good visual of how we talk about you know most games in the market are made in a few days i don't know if you guys saw that flat part before that initial pump there was like four months of like very very mm. low price right and then it spiked all the way up to 0.03 a lot of us the ogs that were here from that time that's yeah. like where most of our gains came from was that pump right there and like then people are just buying tops right so if you're always buying every top you, you probably didn't do that great in hex right but you want to be buying the bottoms this thing wicks really, really hard, but when it wicks out, sometimes it never returns. And so that's what we're looking at right now is we're looking at like another section of, that was just like that first four months, right? So if we break out of here, we'll never, ever come back to this one cent level, mm -hmm. right? And so that's why we're so excited about it right now. Yes. It's all going to happen in like a week. It's going to happen in like yeah, less, maybe so maybe a month. This, this, this week, probably. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, that's I, mean. I, I, I think it'll, I think it'll be this week. This, this year, my nipples, we, my nipples ready to rub. Two, we, cracked, <laughs> we cracked through two cents again for like the third or fourth time, and we are not dipping below 1.9. Yeah, I think it, I yeah. think it's going to be by the end of this week. Well, last year it happened around this time too, uh, around April of 2020, where we just had like just this pump, like the pump of all pumps, right? And then uh, that kind of just set the tone for the, the market and, and the, the price as well. And yeah, I think, I think we could definitely be <clears throat> Uh, coiling up to repeat maybe a similar fractal. I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of, um, you know, price charts. Wasabi of... charts. Wasabi charts. Chart <laughs> <laughs> yeah. porn. So Chart fractal uh, fractals definitely exist. So whether it happens or not mm -hmm. is one thing, but it seems to be uh, coiling up for something like that. So. Yo, hit me with some yeah. chart porn. <clears throat> well, what fucking yeah. dollar cost here? Nipple, cent 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 centering the censoring the chart porn right now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Start calling right. CZ and said DC. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, terrible. Yeah. So this is V one. Yeah, this is the V one price chart weekly candles. So. Uh, I'm I'm assuming the person that was asking is has not seen the hex price chart before, but yeah. uh, we've been here before in the past before the first major impulse. So I would say mm. we're probably somewhere right around here with respect to the current yeah. candle structure, and we're setting up for this really big move up. So uh, to <clears throat> to Crypto Coffee's point, as far as the the gains happening really fast. If you just take a measured move as to how long this move lasted, this really big impulse lasted for three weeks, and then you hit a new price level. And even if you measure from, let's say, the top just before the breakout into the next consolidation range, you this this zone basically expanded up by over four x. And this is at the absolute bottom. I mean, you got to look at it more like the median over that time frame. So, you know, you could we could very easily see a seven to eight X move higher um, from current levels just just to hit like the next median zone. Um, and it's likely going to overextend well past that. So these kind of moves, they happen over very short periods of time. Right now, the price has been creeping up very slowly over the weekly candles. So what's what's probably going to happen is you have this moving average that's just shifting up and then you have these. Um, you're going to have basically people get shaken out right before the move up, <laughs> and then it's just going to blast, blast right up. And where we are right now, we're entering potentially one of the most explosive breakouts across the entire market. So uh, that oh. breakout is referred to as the three wave. So we've had the one and two, 
and this is now setting up for the three. And what, what a lot of people, wave. this blue wave, what, what a lot of people underestimate is this impulse here could actually, it, it, it's very plausible that it outperforms the first impulse that the price has had. So, um, yeah. you know, we're going into targets that are really, it's just kind of uncharted territory how high this can go. Um, and if you don't already have a bag packed before it happens, you're going to miss the entire move. And then you're going to buy like the next local top and then ask why the price is going down after you bought after the price. <laughs> is going up, like, you don't want to be that guy in yeah. Telegram. There's always people in Telegram that buy the fucking top and they're like, what, what, the what's the reason for the drop, guys? Why are the price? It's like people yeah. fucking sold because they just made a shit ton of money and you weren't there. What's like, making it go up? People buying. What's making it go down? <laughs> it's like the dumbest question. It's like, dude, yeah, clicking buttons, man. Like, that's when, all it is. When moon, <laughs> yeah, a crystal ball here. But, but yeah, I mean, from that chart, though, I'll, I'll share, okay. I'll share the linear chart because, uh, I mean, it's just like. Sometimes the log chart makes it look like the moves aren't that big, you know? But yeah. I want to show the linear chart. Oh, true. Yeah, the linear chart is, is insane. Like, here, let's just, like, play it. Like, do a replay from back in the day. Mm. It's like, you know, you scroll all the way back here, and it's like, just imagine, like, you were here. And you're like, oh, big jump. Oh, big dip. Oh, big jump. It's like, that seems big, right? But then you go here, and it's like, Boom! <laughs> fucking never returning. Oh you just God. never return. Just like, and even this giant drop, it's like you're still not even close to this, like to the base, right? It's. I think you can watch it in like. Uh, I think you can replay it right in, in like slow mo. That'd be fun to do. That's yeah. what the hex rewind. I think that's how they did it. How do you do that? Do you just like press this button? Honestly, I, I don't know, but they got some skills. Uh, we could just go. We could just go fast speed for now. Too fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Too furious. Too furious. Tokyo Too Drift fast. was on the other day. I was watching it. What's your Classic. favorite uh, Fast and Furious, guys? No, no, Probably no, no, Tokyo no. Drift. I really like Tokyo that Drift. Was the shit. Yeah. Yeah, that was solid. It's your name, it's Tokyo. If you see me and you need me and you know you got to go fast and furious, <laughs> dip, dip, dip. That's just hard, dude. That was. So, I mean, they're so stupid, but I love all those movies. They're just so like, funny. They're wow. so bad. They're good. Yeah, they're hilarious. <laughs> Remember the one when Kid Cudi like saves the day? He picks that guy up in like a helicopter. Like, dude drives his car off the cliff, and everyone's like, "Oh, he's dead." And then you just see Kid Cudi come up like in a helicopter, and he's like, he looks at the camera, he's like. I got you. I'm like, there's no <laughs> fucking way, dude. You wouldn't just land on a helicopter. Anyway. Classic Hollywood stuff. Man. Mm-hmm. Well, cool, guys. Um, I'm actually going to get on out of here. Um, but yeah, thanks for posting dollar costs, and I'll, uh, no I'll have problem. to catch up with you guys later. Uh, you know, Crypto Coffee, once again, good job on the course. That's awesome. And Miley, Thank always you. good to see you. And, and same thing with you. Uh, Looking to crypto, those those charts have me, uh, you know, super bullish uh, as always. So it's it's awesome to see uh, affirmation as well. So erect, right? He's, he, yeah, he's actually Boy, going to buy right now. Go buy more <laughs> yeah, cash. right, right. Got to got to get the treasure in, in uh, impulse buy. <laughs> no, I actually got to get some lift on before and I. Brand, brand just start. Brand just starts the sploosh wave. Yo yo yo! Went for all just so stream and all of a sudden, Hux goes to like three cents, four cents, like. Brand, what the fuck's going on? Is that you? Hex's <laughs> non whale one. status. Last thing I'll say, there was some guy in, it was like Battered Bull in Hexologist, his, uh, his, uh, what's it called? Um, Twitch today that was like, I've got, you know, $97,000 in USDC. Should I buy Hex right now? And like someone said yes. And the guy bought like 97000 That's what kind of like wicked it up to, uh, like you can look at Hex well bought. It's, it's like 97000 something. So, but, uh, like, anyways, I like, Apes I like that. Together. I Apes like that strong, line yes. line of question. Like, hey, I have ninety seven grand. Should I buy hex? Yes. Yes. All right, I bought ninety seven <laughs> grand of hex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the definition of an ape. <laughs> yeah, ape <shot>. Done. <laughs> I'm sold. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. Shit. No.